Hello everyone, my name is Dipendra and I welcome you all on the behalf of Creative Edge. In this video, we'll talk about profit and loss. Well, let's assume that this is a pen I purchased in rupees 30. So that 30 is going to be the cost price of this pen. Well, when I offer this pen to you, let's say I want to sell this pen in rupees 40. However, I'm not finally selling this pen to you in rupees 40. That 40 is what I'm wanting it to sell it, right? This is the price which it I'm marking it. So that 40 is going to be the MRP or the mark price of this article. Well, finally, after some discussion or bargaining, etc., we finally close this deal at 35 and you purchase it from me at 35. So this 35 for me is going to be the selling price of this article. I hope this much data is clearly understood by everyone. Well, whenever you are asked questions related to evaluating profit or loss percentage or absolute profit or absolute loss what do you do you simply subtract the cost price from the selling price whenever there is a scenario of profit and whenever there is a scenario of loss you subtract selling price from the cost price as it is quite evident here in this question that this is clearly a scenario of profit because selling price is higher than the cost price then Clearly, the pure profit, the absolute profit is going to be 35 minus 30. That is clearly going to be 5. I hope this much data is clearly understood by everyone. Well then, when it comes to evaluating profit percentage, you evaluate it as a percentage of cost price. So the profit is what percentage of cost price is nothing but the term profit percentage. And similarly, when it comes to evaluating loss percentage, you will evaluate loss as a percentage of cost price. Always remember, whether it is profit percentage or loss percentage, it is always evaluated while considering the cost price as the base in the denominator. Well, while evaluating the profit percentage, I need this profit and this cost price. So this is clearly a scenario of 5 upon 30. I hope you remember we have already eliminated the habit of writing this 100. So 5 by 30 in terms of fractions is 1 by 6 for me. And I hope you must have memorized it by now that 1 by 6 is nothing but clearly 16.67%. Right. So this is all what you need to understand when it comes to dealing with profit percentage. I repeat my statement. While dealing with profit percentage, you sometimes or rather always need not deal with the actual values of cost price and the selling price. Even if you are given the data on ratios, then also you can evaluate the profit or loss percentage. What do I mean by that? It simply means, for example, the cost price and the selling price. The ratio is 6 ka. I think 5 ka 6 times is 30 and 5 ka 7 times is 35. So on ratio scale, if an article is purchased at 6 and sold at 7, you are making a profit of one. However, this profit of one is on ratio scale. Well, when it comes to evaluating profit percentage or loss percentage, you can work upon the data which is given on ratios. So this one, when divided by six, because profit percentage is nothing but absolute profit divided by cost price or absolute profit on ratio scale divided by its cost price on ratio scale. Well, again, one by six is nothing but 16.67. Always remember, whenever it comes to dealing with either profit percentage or loss percentage, you can work upon the ratios of cost price and selling price as well. That is the key while dealing with the questions based on this topic. For example, let's understand this topic better with the help of one example. I hope you all can see this question on the screen. Let's try and solve this together, everyone. What are we told? That the cost price of 20 articles is same as the selling price of X articles. Now, what are we told? that? Let's say that, you know, cost price of one article is CP. Then obviously the cost price of 20 articles is going to be 20 times CP. Similarly, if I assume that the selling price of one article is SP, then obviously the selling price of X article is going to be X times SP. And that is exactly what we are told that 20 articles ka cost price is equal to X articles ka selling price. Then what are we told next? If the profit is 25%, now you need to learn to crack this 25%. What is profit percentage? We have just discussed, right? Profit percentage is profit on cost price. So this is how you crack it. Well, 25%, we have learned it in the chapter percentages that 25% when converted into fractions gets resulted into gets result into 1 by 4. That means this 25% can be treated as 1 by 4. Well, the significance or relevance of 1 by 4 is nothing but this. If cost price happens to be 4, you will take the profit as 1. I hope you are understanding that. So 
if you are having a cost price 4 where the profit is 1 obviously the selling price needs to be kept as 5 because jab 4 rupees ke article ko aap bech kar 1 rupees ka fayda ya munafa kamana cha rahe hain to obviously use aapko 5 rupees mein sell karna hoga well this is all happening on a ratio scale right so as per this data to me the ratio between cost price and the selling price is going to be 4 is to 5 i hope everyone is understanding that well, according to this data, the ratio between cost price and selling price is nothing but what? This is clearly x upon 20. So as per this data, this happens to be 4 upon 5. As per another data, the ratio of cost price and selling price is x upon 20. So they can be equated. So 4 upon 5 can be equated with x upon 20. I hope I need not tell you much. 5 ka 4 times is 20 and 4 into 4 is clearly 16. So x turns out to be 16. Now what is the relevance or significance of this 16? That अगर 20 articles का cost price 16 articles के selling price के equal रख दिया जाए, तो आपको definitely 25% का profit होगा. I hope you are realizing you can very easily crack all the questions, almost all the questions on profit and loss, as soon as you are able to crack the ratio relationship between cost price and the selling price. Let's understand profit and loss through one more example. Look at this question everyone. What are we given in this question? Read the language of the question very carefully. If the selling price is doubled, the profit triples. You need to mind the language everyone. If the selling price is doubled, the profit triples. Now what is the meaning of this? Everyone please understand. We are ultimately asked to evaluate the profit percentage. So see, I would have had dealt with something known as cost price. Then I would be dealing with something known as selling price. Now what are we told? If selling price is doubled, obviously in this scenario, what was the profit? The profit used to be selling price minus cost price if this was the original cost price and this was the original selling price the profit earlier in the previous scenario would have been selling price minus cost price but what happens is you are doubling the selling price doubling the selling price means what the new selling price is going to be double of the previous selling price well when you double the selling price what happens now the profit gets tripled it means now whatever profit you are making that profit is the triple of the previous profit of the earlier profit so how much profit am i making right now right now as per this calculation this selling price minus the earlier cost price because the cost price has not been changed right so the updated or the new profit which i'm making is the updated selling price which is two times sp minus the previous cost price which was cp so this is the new profit which i'm making as per the data given to me in the question is when selling price is doubled the profit triples so whatever profit i was making earlier is ka teen guna profit mein ab bana raho. so this p dash is three times of p but are we told that ye jo naya profit hai ye purane profit ka teen guna hai this is what we are told if i rewrite in a better language what am i going to deal with this p dash in our language is two times sp minus cp and what is p P is clearly SP minus CP, the previous profit, the earlier profit, right? Well, again, I would like to emphasize, urge and remind you, as soon as you are able to crack the ratio relationship between cost price and selling price, you can very easily work out the profit or loss percentage. For example, look at this question. 2 times SP, 3 times SP. This 2 times SP, I'm taking on the right hand side. So 3 times SP minus 2 times SP results into SP. Well, this is minus 3 times CP. Well, that minus 3 times CP, I bring on the left hand side. So minus 3 when brought on the left hand side becomes plus 3 times C CP minus CP. That is clearly 2 times CP. Well, if I try to work out the ratio relationship between cost price and the selling price, that is clearly nothing but what? 1 upon 2. Now, what is the significance of 1 by 2? Agar aap article 1 rupee mein kharit ke laate ho, to aap usse 2 rupee mein bheshte ho. I hope I need not tell you this. Agar isse aap alag tarikhe se samajh raha hai, kuch aise samjho. Agar article mein 1 rupee mein kharit hai, to mein 2 mein bheshte ho. Obviously, mujhe profit ho raha tha. एक रुपए के आर्टिकल दो में बेचने पे हमें ऑब्वियसली एक रुपए का प्रॉफिट होता है व्हेन इट कम्स टू इवैल्यूएटिंग प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज इज एब्सोल्यूट प्रॉफिट डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस्ट प्राइस सो दिस इज 1 अपॉन 1 आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रैक्शंस व्हेन कन्वर्टेड इनटू परसेंटेजेस 1 बाय 1 इज 100% एज 1 बाय 2 वाज 50 1 बाय 3 वाज 33.33 दिस इज हाउ यू लर्न टू कन्वर्ट दीस फ्रैक्शंस इनटू परसेंटेजेस I hope you have gotten a lot of clarities on profit and loss. This is how you can work out these problems. Always remember the key. The key is try to crack the ratio relationship between cost price and the selling price. Most of the questions can be done through this approach. With that, I hope you have gotten a lot of clarity. Thank you so much. Take care everyone.